We're saying clouds be gone. We're saying hair be gone as well. And it's all for a good cause to fight childhood cancer. So much fun here to talk about all the buzz and get some live clippings live on air here on the CW. First, I want to say to all of you, thank you to those of you sitting here in front. Thank you for donating your hair. Thank you for donating your time down there in the end. That's Jason Wooj uh, from the Cosmopolitan. Should we uh, should we get clipping here as we talk? Yeah, should we do please. this. Get cutting. Let's and get it going. You see the uh, little uh, nerves on the faces here Ready as Jason. Let's see if you can multitask because you're clipping your own son's hair there. Yes. Uh, your yeah. excitement here about getting involved. What is that? Uh, so St. Baldrick's, uh, we actually part do this every year at New York, New York on the Brooklyn Bridge. This yep. is our 15th year Exciting. Uh, raising money for child cancer. Uh, to fight child cancers for, through research and treatment. Um, you have to, uh, to join us March 16th. Uh, sign up on our page at stbaldrus.org yep. and come by, uh, raise a minimum of $50 and, and join us for this incredible cause. So other than doing it every year, other than it being a tradition, what about you as you give your son the old man haircut right here <laughs> with the, uh, the balding on top? What about you? What does it do for you? What kind of joy does it put in your heart to help these kids out? Honestly, just, you know, to, to be able to, to give these children a chance, um, you know, to be diagnosed with cancer. Every two minutes in the United States, a child is diagnosed with cancer, unfortunately. And of those, uh, one in five, unfortunately, will not make it. Um, so to, to do our part, to raise money, to, to raise awareness for this incredible cause, it's just, it's very satisfying. And it's, it's very heartwarming. So there's, there's ways people can show up, actually get clipped, uh, like Steve. Courtney and Seth here in the uh, in the gowns in the capes. Uh, Jason, if people aren't able to show up on Saturday at New York, New York, how do they still get involved here? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, there's multiple ways to get involved. You can uh, donate to a Shavy. So we all have fundraising pages. We're raising money for St. Baldrick's. Just go to stbaldrick's.org, pull up our, our event page, and you can raise money right now. Uh, just go and uh, go to that page up and make an online donation. Um, if you are available on March 16th, you can join us from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. on the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, if you have a cosmetology license, you could be a shaver um, and, and join us up there. That's what Lauren and Stacy are doing here in the back. Exactly. Yes. Volunteer shaver, uh, Courtney. You're you're not going for the the full shave here. And Jason, this is this is okay. We can cut off a certain length of locks here. It doesn't have to be a full head. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We're let, th This is perfectly good. That was that's what you were most excited about here. Only taking <laughs> enough off. <laughs> we cannot be totally traumatized by the situation. But, but. What's been the response from St. Baldrick's? Uh, J uh, because you're talking about 15 years now. Yeah. The response from the organization and, and Las Vegas' involvement is what? It's, it's huge. So our goal this year is to raise $300,000. Uh, last year, our goal was similar. We beat that by, by a bit. So we're hoping to, to hit the same. Um, St. Baldrick's organization, they actually come out as well. They're a national organization. Okay. Um, they come out and they also help, uh, help with some of the setup. Uh, also, locally, uh, we do another event uh, in September with the McMullins, the Irish pub. They have an event also where they kind of hit the, that, that second part of the year to also raise money for childhood cancer research. We had um, Johnny Katz earlier on in the broadcast. I know he said he's, what, emceeing the, yeah. the event on Saturday? Love Johnny. He's there every year. I think it's his 12th year. Or can you, get, can yeah. you give an assessment on how he looks with a uh, fully shaved head versus... Uh, John, the Johnny we've come to know and love with the locks that he brings on our broadcast every so His often. His hair is incredibly long right now, so I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, I usually know him with, with his shaved head when he comes to MC. I, I did hear he's going to do his event the following day uh, at the space on St. Patrick's Day. So I'm really thrilled how much he gets involved uh, as, as a local personality. I will say the three of you, you're looking fantastic. Uh, well done, well done with the look. Uh, and that little Seth down there on the end, how you feeling, bud? You good? Like Aang. <laughs> you look like. <laughs> help like me Aang. out here. Look like what? Who? Aang from Avatar. Aang from Avatar. There you go. Got it. Got it. That's what we were going here with the, the style. Uh, one more time, St. Baldrick's head shaving event. It's coming up in New York, New York Hotel and Casino. Uh, you said on the Brooklyn Bridge is where it's happening. It's coming up this Saturday. You can get involved right there. Website down there at the bottom of your screen, stbaldrick's.org. Y'all, you're looking fantastic. Thanks for being here. Thanks for doing this live on air, that's for Thank sure. You. We'll be right back.